Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to display the negative sign to the right of a number. So for example, let's say that we have a negative number. We have a positive number here, and then we have a negative number here. And normally when you type that in, Excel represents the negative number with the negative sign on the left side. But what if we wanted it on the right side? Well, there's actually an easy way to do that. What you can do is you have to format uh, your cells and do a custom number format. So what I can do is select these cells and I can either right click and go under format cells or press the keyboard shortcut control the number one. It will bring up this format cells dialog box and what we want to do is we want to have it like this where maybe the positive number will be nothing but the negative number shows up with a negative sign on the right side. So we have to create a custom number format. So we just have to go under custom and you can notice that you know when we select some of these options here it will give us an example uh, of course in these examples these are uh, all positive and uh, the negative ones since it's multi-selecting it will just shoot it'll just show you the positive one let me go ahead and just select the negative one so you can see what it looks like first so I'll go ahead and select that press control 1 to bring it up again go to custom and you can see like you know when I have uh, that selected it will show you the example the negative shows up with uh, 15 in parentheses, but we wanted to create one where it's a negative sign on the right. So what we can do, you can see that there's nothing here that, that shows us that. What we can do is we can do a new one. So I can just go ahead and create a new one. So what I want to do is maybe this application will maybe show up in science or uh, in financials and, and pretty much if we're talking about financials, you're talking about two decimal places to the right. So the first one, we, what we want to do is we want to show what positive numbers look like. So with a positive number, and uh, maybe we want to have positive just show up 0.00, .00 and we put an underscore here. And what, the, what that does is it creates an extra space. Because there's going to be an extra space here when once that negative is put there. There's, there's an extra space here. And so if we want things to line up decimal-wise, we need that extra space there. And so after that, I just put a minus there. And I'm going to put a semicolon. So what the semicolon does is it separates out the custom number formatting that you can have available here. So um, the first thing after, before the semicolon is for positive numbers. After the semicolon is negative numbers. So I can put 0, 0.00 and then a minus. So you can now notice that the sample looks like that. And then I can put another semicolon, but really we don't need one because after that would be the custom number formatting for a zero, and then another after another semicolon, it'd be the custom number formatting for text. We only need numbers here, so all I need to do is just have uh, one semicolon separating the positive categorization and a negative categorization, positive value, negative value. So once I click OK, you'll notice now that has turned into a negative. So if I have a range of cells, I can do the same type of format. I can choose this, control one, and since I've created that custom number format, it probably should show up at the bottom here. I'm, I can go ahead and select that and click OK, and now I have my custom number formatting there. So what if I didn't want to have a space? What I wanted to show a negative number for, of course, negative numbers to the right, have a negative symbol here, and have a positive same symbol there. Well, what I can do is do the same thing, create a custom number format. Let me put the numbers 15 here again, or negative 15 here. And what I can do is I can select both of these. Now I'm going to do the, well, let me just do this one, and I'll show you another trick to get the, to copy the number formatting from one cell to another. Let's do it for negative 15 first. So I press control one, and to bring out my custom number formatting, I want to do a new one now. So, so I want to do 0.00, .00 and instead of a space, I'm going to put a plus. So this will indicate the plus symbol for positive numbers, and then semicolon 0.00, .00 and then a minus symbol for negative numbers. So I click OK, and then you see that it shows up here. Now I don't really necessarily need to press Control 1 and go and reset it. All I can do is just select that, press the Format Painter command here, and just click up here. And now you notice that it's applied it here. So what it does is it's copied the display, the custom formatting display, from this cell to this cell. So that display formatting, it just copies that format there. So that's the way that you can put a negative number or a negative symbol to the right of a negative number instead of taking the default Excel uh, negative symbol to the left. You can also put a plus uh, symbol to the right to indicate plus symbols, to, to indicate positive numbers. So there you go, there's the way to add a, a negative number symbol to negative numbers and also a positive number symbol, plus symbol, uh, to negative numbers and have these over to the right of the numbers instead of having it to the left. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.